Right. Let's see if we can get this actually working this time, guys, shall we? <laughs> oh, yeah, I need to plug in the uh, recording device, otherwise it will die quickly. Come on, in you go. Ah, there we go. Cool. Right. Let's uh, manage my channel now while I'm here. So how are we all feeling today? I'll be painting very soon. Like I said, I'm just waiting for a friend or two that wanted to watch. Uh, that. Right then, let's get started, shall we? No, oh, as I said, this is what I'm painting today. Let's get him on one of the old painting stands. Uh, it's hard to tell, but he's already been primed in a very pale grey. Almost white. Off-white, I think we call it. Oh, let's see, is that good to see? Yeah, that's where I'm going to have it focused. I need to get a good camera that actually focuses where I want it to focus on. Come on, any time. Now uh, let's start with some armor. And because he's a very specific character, mine specifically, I'm going to be using a metallic black. If it's any good still, because it's been sitting here for months. It's an airbrush paint, but it works brushing on just as well. Let's take a look. I don't know, guys, but to me, that looks a little bit thin. Hey, what's up, see? That should work. Adamantine, for the base colour anyway. There's no background music today, unfortunately, because, well, the setup is shite. Get the brush a little bit wet. Stamp it down, and let's get started. Because this is a pre-mix airbrush paint, it's, uh, God, I need to get comfortable. Ah, oh, come on, chair, fuck you. Right then. Now let's start with down here and just start blocking in some of these armor panels in the very lovely Model Air Black Metallic by Vallejo. Focus. There's the number if anybody wants it. Seven one zero seven three. It's a really nice paint to work with. Like I said, it might be an airbrush paint, but it works just fine brushing it on. This is going to be very blocky to start with, but I'm going to be picking out a lot more detail with other colours. Plus, I've got to wear. Uh, Make room for his actual colour scheme, which is the gold. That's the important part. The big golden boy. A little bit less, a little bit different to my regular streams, but I'm a, a lot more chaotic. God damn it, come in focus, you piece of shit. 
but isn't the kind of thing where you can really be chaotic and do it at the same time. I like to use the side of the brush for some parts because it just gives a nice even coatage. So this might not come up very well on the stream with it being all black right now. But I promise later it will make sense, it will pay off. Oh no, uh, don't paint it gold to start with, especially when I've got so many other colours to work with. Like I said, the grey works better for the uh, for the multitude of colours I'll be using. You know that, you're an artist. There you go, that's some of the armour done. Well, base coated anyway. little bits I've got to touch up here and there on the uh, groin but once that's dry on the front that's when we go back to it listen spraying it gold might be the quick and easy solution but why have I ever done things the easy way let's be honest Sorry, that's out of shot. That's also out of shot. I've got such a really tight area to work with. This won't exactly be a masterpiece, but hey, it never is. <laughs> I am doing him bare legged, so he's wearing a uh, what's essentially a metallic kilt. Let's wash some of this dried off paint from the brush. There you go. Oop, I've just put a dot of water on the other device that I'm using to re chat. And let's continue with the black. Black metallic. Well, metallic black, let's be honest, that's what it's called. Got to be careful not to hit the scales on his arms. Out of shot again. I really should give myself a marker to work with. And the cloak, I'm thinking either get a nice bright red or an earthy tone, just so it looks like brown cloth. Something to, you know, work with the black. Red works with black, it bounces off really well. This is going on like a much darker silver than a metallic black today. It's not usually this dark. Which sounds strange. Well, it's not usually this bright, I should say, not dark. That's the opposite of what I was saying. Let's give the whole thing a good solid coat, actually. Yeah, I definitely need a second coat, but hey, most things often do. Measure twice, cut once and all that. Now there's a spot just behind the cloak here. You see it? That little line there. Just to the edge of the cloak. That is another armour panel. I've got to just work the brush. Very gently in there, without touching the scales, hit the cloak a little bit, but that can be worked on after. You know what, fuck it, I'm painting the cloak purple. It's canon, Nariak has got a purple cloak.
Now this very almost became a karaoke stream as well as an art stream. Now that would be a treat for nobody. It'd be a treat for all the dogs nearby. Give them something to howl at. That around there. This here that I've painted black by accident is part of the cloak. I didn't realise there was a ruffle around the neck of the cloak. Yeah, just here. Yeah. So that will be repainted. Let's work on the podlands. Put you down for a second. I'm going to base it, if I go with the red, with this. And then I'll bring it down. Mm, fuck. Nearly knocked my water over. That would have been a fucking disaster. Dull at more paint. I need a drink. And tonight, Matthew, I'm drinking Iron Brew because I'm half Scottish. Ah, oh, it's refreshing. So, how have your day been today, see? Doing anything interesting? You know what? While I'm here, I'll give you a quick look at the difference between the old Nariax Mini and the new one. The one I'm currently painting is the new Mini. And this is the old one that I'm not particularly proud of. The new hotness. Old and busted. The new one is so much better. In every, this is an official Wizards of the Coast Mini. It's pathetic. And there's a reason I do this and get unofficial ones. Hey, it might be tedious cleaning and organising, but it's got to be done, hasn't it? This does need a little bit of water. Just a touch. Right, let's get working on this second coat, shall we? Since it's dried. Get that really round there, just under the cloak. Really work the paint in. Because otherwise it'll end up looking unsaturated, boring, and just like regular iron. And we all know Nerox is far too important to wear plain old iron. Hell, when the uh, campaign started, he was wearing Mithril. Now he's wearing adamantine. Let's get a little coat on these pollens. Oh, cool! You excited? Oh, sorry if I go quiet while I'm painting, but you know what it's like when you start concentrating on something. Your brain just shuts off. And given I'm used to uh, not shutting up all the time, it's strange when I shut up. A 
of this uh, metallic black will be brought down to a darker shade anyway. Just behind there, in this pauldron. It's an awkward one, especially with the sword going across the shoulder. I'll need a second coat too. But hey, two coats are better than one. Two thin coats, as a certain painter used to say. Mr. Duncan Rhodes used to work formerly for Games Workshop, now for himself. Hmm. Now, what do I put across this band on the shoulder here? You see it? Is it there? It's like scroll work across the top. Just above the tip of my thumb now. Clearing things off my phone real quickly. It's adamantine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit, hit it with a really bright edge highlight so it looks like the lights, even though it's almost abysmally dark, I'm going to hit it so the light just bounces off the edges. Very fine highlight, as fine as I can get it. Alright, let's get working on this other pauldron. Adamantine is black normally. That's why his armour is very black. I mean, the myth well he used to wore was burnished black as well. He coated it so it would be black. Oh, that's a tendril. Let's not paint that black. He's a gold dragonborn, not a black dragonborn. I'm out of frame again. <laughs> I need to stop doing that. If I come out of frame, just shout at me. Otherwise, I'll never learn. I might have to open a window in a sec. It's getting kind of warm in here. I do have this bloody big light, like, right here. Almost like blinding me. It's almost directly on my left eye. I've got the big light like above as well. Yeah, no, I don't think I'm opening a window. I can hear people outside. Is that a dog? I don't know. You can never really tell around here. Dude, this light is so bright, you don't even understand. It's the ring light that I use for uh, VTubing with. But yeah, you didn't answer me. Are you excited for Kane and Malachi to visit? What are you guys going to do for fun while you're there? Yeah, you know what? I think that's the armour done. Except for the second coat on some of it. Let's 
to touch my water again. Thin the whole thing down, it'll last longer. Give the brush a little bit of a spin. And get them to bring some board games. Kane and Malachi are both on laptops, I think. I know Kane is at least, so. Could have a little LAN party. Are you going to try alcohol, see? Or would you not dare? Cool, that seems to be most of the armour done. There's these little bands around the wrist. But I think I'm going to do them in a plain silver. So let's get all this uh, black metallic off the brush. And find a nice purple to work with. How about... Phoenician purple. Yes, that Phoenician. Exactly the one you're thinking of. It goes on quite thick as well, this, so I'm going to have to be a little bit careful with it. Yeah, let's scoop a little bit out and slap it on the palette paper. Well, you can't really see that because the camera's dropped a little bit over time. There we go, this is the colour. Yeah, let's just... Drop a little bit on the tip of my nail so you can see it. That's the pebble. A little more. Click the lid down. Touch your water because this is much thicker than the paint I was using before. Although the colour itself, the uh, pigment, isn't very thick. It's not very pigment heavy. And let's get going with the cloak. Let's go from the end up. Oh god, it's going on very thin. Very, very thin. This is going to require about six coats, maybe. No, nah, not quite that many, but two or three. I don't think I've ever actually used this specific tone of purple on anything. No, that's all I used it on the uh, female Nanayax. On the claws. Come on, get in there. Ooh, this is messy. Touch my water. This probably works better over a darker base, but you know, nothing I can do about that now. 
I'll just bring it up to a solid tone when I can. As I can. I really need to get a laptop in here or something so I can stream from that. Use my avatar. Put a little bit of music on for us. So it's not as boring. This will obviously get a second coat because, well, look at it. Purple isn't the best colour to paint with. At times. But I think that'll stand out quite nicely. Nariax do like his purple. I wonder where he gets that from. Couldn't be me, could it? That's not it, that's pulled from that, I've painted all that. That on the other hand is very much cloak, because it's cloth. Oh, I'm getting under there, you little purple bastard. This will be very messy to start with, but there's nothing that you can do about that, unfortunately. That's just how painting goes. And I've noticed an area where I need to touch up the black, so... Let's switch back to the metallic black really quick. And just trace it in on the back of this pauldron here. There, little bit there, there, along the edge of that board run, on the edge of this under armor. Hey, what's good, my boy? Or girl, whatever you are, I don't know. How are you doing today? Sorry there's no music at the minute, like I said it's, well you weren't here for this but I'm running from a phone rather than a computer right now so I've not really got access to a whole lot of music. Now I can switch back to this purple. Get some more out because it's starting to dry up already because it's warm. And me like an idiot decided not to use my wet palette because this is under here. With a business card for the dice shop <laughs> I wonder why I've got a business card for a dice shop it's not like I've got too many dice I'm doing fine thanks for asking just uh painting myself my Pathfinder character that we myself see and some other friends play on Monday it's not something we play on stream but it's just the game that we play together for fun. Hell, we don't even play it in person. I'm just painting this character as my character because, well, I like the character. And I wanted some representation for him. Even if nobody else will see it in person. And you never know, I might play him again in person.
Ah, pineapple starting to come together now. Yeah, that's pen and paper stuff. But we play it over the internet. TTRPG. It's really good fun. The most powerful graphics card is your mind! <laughs> Yeah, this is a character that we started in D&D 5th edition and moved into Pathfinder at level 8. And because Pathfinder doesn't have Dragonborn, the DM had to completely convert the Dragonborn species over to Pathfinder. Because I'm a picky bastard and I didn't want to swap characters. That's okay, you don't have to be familiar. Let's just call it D&D &D for now. That'll be easier for you. And that's exactly what this character is for. My guy. Lord Nariax Lepesh. First born of the House of Lepesh. Well, first born son, not the first born of. That'd be strange. Sorry for some of the weird angles that you'll see, but you've got to get into some strange angles to get into all the crevices on some figures. Especially on this one. It's got a really awkward space behind the cloak. But I just touch the back of the arms with the brush. But nobody will see that. Oh, thanks, my friend. Would you like to see the uh, old version of this character? The old miniature for him? It's a lot worse. This was a 3D printed one that I bought. There we go, if you want a better look. This is the guy. And the older miniature, the old version of Nariax, is this one, which is unfortunately a very official one, so it's bad. <laughs> there was a dragon, a breath weapon head that I had for it, that I have for it, that I just never got around to painting fully. It's very similar. The only real difference is that where lizard men are lizard men, these are directly dragon blooded creatures. They're even classed as dragons in the games. Oh, that's another miniature that's in the way that needs to be moved. Now oh, there's another mini that's uh, coming soon for stream. There's a little preview for you guys. This one will be getting painted very soon. This is another fighter character, the same as Nariax is, but when Nariax is a traditional fighter, this is a samurai, a dual wield samurai. A tabaxi, specifically. And he's a panther. Now, if you want a really cool miniature, let's uh, get a really cool miniature for you. Just waiting for that purple to dry. That's why I'm uh, taking my time. This is a cool miniature. This is the goodest boy. He's a canatar. There's another one which is based on Geralt from The Witcher. He is a 
White Wolf Witcher. The sword's a little bit beat up, but that's how it came, and I've still got to straighten it out. Here's the uh, White Wolf Witcher. Complete with second sword. And trophy. With the griffin, if anyone's played the uh, third game. There's a company called Punga Miniatures that did a whole series of these Canatars and Felatars, complete with rules. So you could play them in D and D with their, well, with their original rules. Let's get a touch more of this purple and then start touching it up again. That could be phrased better. So, Gex, have you been doing much today, or...? Uh, before you play Fallout 4, play New Vegas. Fallout 4 is great, but New Vegas is so much better. New Vegas, you either love it or you hate it, let's be honest. It's the Marmite of games. Now, I'm usually a VTuber. Oh, good. Good, 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 good. But yeah, I'm usually a VTuber. But I'm also doing a few... Miniature paint streams here and there. Yeah, let's not ruin that. I think I know the part you're thinking of, but let's not mention it for other people who may not have played it. I know C specifically hasn't. God, this purple's a hassle. You've really got to layer it up. But this was my choice to go with purple. Let it be known I'm not in a man who backs down from a challenge. My space marines are imperial fists and they're all yellow so... enough said about that well, as little said about that the better I can tell I've still got to finish painting Rogue Old Dawn right let's get back behind this arm again into the back of the cloak and spread that purple out nice and easy slowly just working it into every little detail of the cloak. And let's not forget to highlight around here. Oh, were you playing the uh, actual card game or were you playing the... I can't remember what the PC game's called, but it's PC and mobile and all that much. I used to play the uh, card game a very long time ago. In fact, I was in high school. At the time. Used to be really good fun. Yeah, I think that'll do for the cloak now, except for that little bit that's not taking the paint very well. Uh, and this side here, that I just didn't get to. I never really played competitively, it was just with friends for me to, you know, wait for the uh, of the school bell and go into the old youth room that we used to have, whip our decks out and let everybody who wants to watch, watch. 
Someone actually stole one of my decks while I was playing at one point. That was a fun time. No, I think that's it done for that one. I say it, I'm trying to touch up a part, but I'm sure it's just light. Yeah, it is. It wasn't the whole deck, it was just a, a few, shall we say, rarer cards that were in the deck. That's okay, I forgave the kid when I beat the shit out of him. Caught him after school. Grab him by the throat. Give me my cards back. Or I'm going to rip your bollocks off. Now I do not advocate violence. Unless it's necessary. And sometimes violence is very necessary. But not always. Most of the time you can settle things away with... Some harsh words. Hey, yeah, tell it. What you doing here? Who said you could turn up here? Me, when I invited you. Yeah, he's here. He's always here. Now let's go with a paint I don't use very often. It's a contrast black. Which means it should. And I use the word should very lightly. Highlight itself. You see the way it runs off very strangely? It's almost like a very thick shade. But Lily is another VTuber and one of my best friends. Let's get this stripe across these brands doing, these bands doing. It shouldn't need two coats, but if it does, oh well. If you're a Gremlin Lily, what am I? Oh, fuck it, let's just slap it on. Any cleanup I'll do later. I am not just a, I'm not just any gremlin. I'm the gremlin. I'm the daddy gremlin. Let's get a little more paint on the brush. Work that shit in there. I'm treating these as just wristbands. Oh, this is going to be my paladin, Riddick. He's an Azamar. He's a, a paladin. How dare you? So this is just a nice chill stream. It was until you turned up. Now it's all gone to hell. Shut up, dogs. Probably dogs outside barking. Who barks at this time at night? And the Gremlins is more than a great movie. It's a classic. While I wait for that to dry, let me show you some other minis. Now, you two, Lily and C, you've seen this. This is the uh, female version of this character. Let's put it on a stand. Clampy, clampy. 
Uh, I will warn you, it's in a pin-up mini, so it's got boobies out. So, here we are. Missed another one. Same character. But, obviously very much more feminine. Yes, the dragon head is dead. That's why there's blood all over the base. <laughs> nice butt. There we go. Dragon butt. Yeah, she's also got a little necklace. Don't be sad. It was evil. That's why it's dead. You can go back over there, little miss. And like I said, I'm just waiting for that black that I've just painted to dry. You know what? While I'm waiting for that, let's dig out a nice bright silver and start working on that sword. Stop that. None of that here. I will remove both of you as mods. Yeah, you heard me. God, this paint's thick. That noise is just me shaking up this uh, dark silver. Oh, it's all dry and sticky. Oh, it's all sticky. Oh, so that's why you like this miniature. If you like lizard men, here's one you'll really love. There we go. Come on, camera. Stop being ADHD in focus. There's a lizard man for you. This is from a very specific army for Age of Sigma, the fantasy version of Warhammer. I bought just because I wanted to paint it. No other reason. <laughs> right. Back to the silver. Let's get ye on there. Lead belcher silver. It's like a really dark gun metal. I don't know why I've gone a little bit like this now. It's not even my real accent. The accent you hear isn't also isn't my real accent. Because I very much change it to be easier to understand. That's fine. It's not for everybody. It's a lot of fun. It's a tabletop war game. And I recommend anybody, if they have the time and, and the money, to try it out. Uh, the good guy, it depends. Are you talking about Age of Sigma or are you talking about 40,000? Because those are two very different answers. Nice, slow brush stroke. In 40k, there is no good guys. There's just varying degrees of arsehole. 
Oh, I know it was a smart ass question, but I decided to give it an actual smart answer. I know you better than that, Lily. And you forget yourself, milady. Oh yeah. The law is it deep. If you like space marines, I suggest uh, reading the Horace Heresy books. You can actually get them on audiobook on Audible for, well, one credit a month, which is seven ninety nine, I think, in pounds. I'm not sure what it is in euros. But it's a fairly good deal. And if you listen to one a month, you'll catch up to the uh, 50 something books in several years. But yeah, they're usually a relatively interesting read. Or listen, or whatever you want to do. And they're a good way to kill time. In fact, I usually listen to all your books when I'm painting. I went through the entirety of the Witcher series once, just painting Vickers. Well, more than once. Several times. You know, I never really got into Eragon, the books or otherwise. No, the movie was terrible. In comparison, anyway, the movie was terrible. There's a lot of books that just never really work as films, unfortunately. Ugh. I need to take a drink. That's not painty water, because that usually happens when I'm painting. I drink some paint water at one time or another. Am I nice and clear, by the way? Can you hear me well? I should have asked earlier. silver to uh, dry itself. Let's uh, close that over. You see this is the big problem with paint miniatures. You've got to factor in the times where you wait for the figures to dry and it's a bit of a pain sometimes but what the thing we can do is we can find some other miniatures and I can give you a little look at some things I've done in the past or some things I'm doing in the future here's a thing that some people will know and others won't ah Be a little bit dusty here, friend. This is a scale good and lag on. I have to move you out the way. That I built. Because I build Gunpla too, because I'm that kind of nerd. Can't get the whole thing in picture. It's not that large. It's one. It's uh, one forty-four scale, I think. And there's the reverse. But yeah, this is a. Uh, this was a pain to get a hold of. I had to. I had to buy this from Japan. Have it shipped over. Because unfortunately, they didn't ship any to Europe. Yep. 
You know what? Here's the first figure I painted when I got back into 40k in, I want to say, 2000, uh, 2016? No, earlier than that. This is one of the first figures I painted when I got back into it. If you want to get into Gunpla, I would suggest starting with an RG kit. They're quite interesting, they're relatively easy to build. The Earth Orb is my favourite part about this figure. We've got such a smooth transition between the yellow and the green. And that was brush painted by the way. Not a, no airbrush, because I didn't have an airbrush at the time. Uh, other gunpla, I've got a blue Harrowclaw and a bear guy. Let's bring those that down. I don't think I've ever actually shown the Gunpla. But here's a Bear Guy and a Blue Harrow. RG stands for Real Grade. Uh, there's both. There's High Grade and then there's RG. It goes HG, RG, MG, PG. High grade, real grade, uh, I can't remember what the M stands for, and then there's perfect grade. But yeah, this is a Harrow Plat, it's a little ball neck basically. Yes, this is hands. There's legs too, but they're attached to the bottom of the, of the uh, base. And then there's the bear guy, who is just fucking adorable. Everybody loves a bear guy. If you would like a recommendation, I would say start with the RX-78-2, the original Gundam. It's a very easy kit to build. Very easy to get hold of and usually high stock everywhere. Very fun Gundam. And if you really want to challenge and to spend a lot of money, get a perfect grade. Don't. Really do not get a perfect grade straight away. I don't want to touch the rest of them because they're all in fairly precarious positions, let's put it that way. <clears throat> right. Those colours should be dry. Let's get back to it. Let's take a little touch, see if that silver's dry. Well, it's still a very slightly tacky, but I can work with that. Uh, I don't want to use gold for the hilt, so let's use a copper. Have I got a copper? Oh, Christ. Bronze, copper. That's a dry paint, that's medium. Ah, screw it, let's go with a copper. That'll work. Oh, there's the uh, copper base comp tone I was looking for. Screaming Bell. I would use the cosy tag, but it's kind of a pain to set up on mobile. So just give me one sec. I'm going to add a couple more tags. Cozy. 
Where's the British tag? He hen. There isn't a British tag. I want an English tag. England, that was it. Oh, this knife. Yeah, this. This is my my good craft knife. What I suggest you get first is a pair of clippers. Model nippers for plastic are a godsend. And a set of good files. I'll tell you what. Um, my Twitter is linked below, I think. It's the same name that I use on here. If you DM me later, I'll send you a few links for things that you can buy for Gumpla that you can help with, that can help. Things that'll just, you know, get you started with the hobby. Nope, and now I need to refresh this because the stream manager's disconnected. Because it always does. There we go. Thanks for the follow, by the way, Gex. I appreciate it. Always appreciated when someone follows. There's the bastard paint that I put down. I know I put it somewhere. Oh, that's a nice rich copper tone. Look at this. Look at that tone. You can't really see it on the brush. There you go. Look at that for a nice rich copper. Let's drop that there between the red and the purple. Switch brushes to something much, much smaller. Because while this is only a small brush, we need something smaller. Well, we can do this bit with this, so let's do that. Touch water. Touch more water. Mix that in. Come on, get nice and smooth. And now, just this pommel here. I'm going to just gently touch the brush around the edge of the pommel. Catching the very bottom of the brush. That's far too much paint. No, don't beat the devil out of these brushes. These are far too delicate. There we go. That's done for that bottom bit. Just on the very tip of the pommel. Maybe take a touch of that away. Ah, oh, fuck it, let's just go up higher. We can clean it up later. I will say, there is no such thing as a mistake. Because you can always fix it later. Put that. In the yes, thank you for rolling into the paintbrush. Look at that. What a travesty. All that lovely copper paint gone to waste. Oh, thank you for the follow on Twitter then, Gax. Much appreciated. Oh, it's stained and it's a new brush. Ah, it could be worse, at least it wasn't one of my expensive brushes. These are the expensive brushes, what I'm switching to now. Now, if you guys thought this was a small brush, wait till you see the one I'm about to use. This is a triple zero size brush. But 
this is a Winter and Newton Triple Zero Series 7 Sable. Oh no, this is all. These are bristles. This is sable hair. See? And this is what you use when you want to work on the really fine detail. And I'm pretty sure I could put it in somebody if I used enough force, but I don't think it's, it's not quite a needle. But I do need to mix some more paint now that the brush rolled into it, you useless bastard. Far too much water. Yep, still way, way too much water. Should have dried my brush off better. These are very expensive brushes. Sable hair. Natural sable hair. It's £12 for a single brush. It's not super expensive, but, you know, for sable hair you tend to pay a little bit extra. Close that paint pot over. Grab this brush and just touch it to the paint ever so gently. There you go. Here's a line with that. A very faint line. These are the brushes you do the fine detail with. Like I said. In fact, this might be too small for what I need. <laughs> Let's switch up to... Hmm... Let's go with this. Screw it. Let's put the cap back on actually before we continue. Some people are coffee snobs. I'm a brush snob. This isn't quite as small but it's got a nice long flexible bristle. So you can control it. Nice and easy. See, you can just slowly work the paint over. Ah, shaky hands is something you can work on. I've seen people with no hands paint with the teeth and paint Warhammer figures. I've seen someone with a serious spinal injury who's shaken like this. It's all about bracing yourself on what you're using. I use this method when I brace my hands together and rest my elbows on the table. Well, the edge of the desk, not the table. Fun fact, this desk that I'm actually working on was uh, custom built wraps around the entire room except for the doorway obviously myself and my stepfather decided to put a nice big desk in this room and we got some timber and we got some screws and we got some electrical cable because it's all got power built into it. There is four power points on this table or desk that all connect to the mains that we did by ourselves. There we go. That's the nice bright hilt and pommel I was looking for. You know what? There's getting in my face, and it's kind of annoying. So let's take a 
very long wooden hairpin and let's put that in my hair and fix it up so just give me one second guys and there we go hair pinned up no longer touching my back ah where it can tickle down the back of my neck right you know guys i'm thinking it's time to start working on the scales so let's break out the bright gold paint Looks like a white top, that's because it is. But inside that white top is a very, very bright gold. Well, I appreciate you being here. I'll be going for maybe up to another hour at the very most. So feel free to stick around and I hope you enjoy it. Yes, it's scales time. And this means I need to switch up to a bigger brush. Let's go with a medium flat. Yeah, medium flat brush will work. Because I've got a lot of area to cover on that tail and on the head. Drop that there on top of the red so I can see it nice and brightly. This will need about two or three coats too. Put a touch of water to it because it's a metallic and metallics are always a bit of a pain. Here's an interesting fact for you. How do you highlight well, interesting question for you. How do you highlight gold? What colour do you use to highlight gold? There we go. Nice and smooth. All the way down. So you should already know this and you might know it too because it, uh, Lily. apologies neither you use silver very bright silver that way it looks like the light the light source is just catching the ends the edges Think about it, if you're using a very, very bright gold, like I'm using here. Gold in the sunlight reflects really, really well. You always want it to look like the light is alive on your subject. And uh, like I said before, if this figure goes out of the shot, just shout at me and I'll return it into shot as best as I can. Oh, it's okay, not everybody knows this. It's fairly specific, especially when you're working in such small, small fucking areas of detail. With miniature painting, we've got this little thing called the three foot rule. especially for when people are just starting where if you can't notice an imperfection from three feet it's not there there we go and there's that nice bright shiny gold that we're going to be using for his dial well for his scales 
ah, that's not good. You shouldn't sleep in school. I've got to pay attention. That's why I'm so smart. Okay, you two can laugh now when you figure that, when you hear that, because I know you will start laughing. Let's clean off this dry gold from the brush. Yes, you would. Don't you lie to me. See, it's funny. Usually VTubers are bullied by their mods, not the other way around. <laughs> Touch that edge there. Hey, it's okay. Plenty of people can't speak English who were born in the UK. I know several people who failed at English. German and English are actually very similar languages. As I'm sure you know, as you speak both. If they say if you know English, it should be fairly easy for you to learn German. I knew the hand used to speak fluent Spanish. But that all stopped a long time ago because I just stopped speaking it and forgot it all. I'm no longer bilingual. And I've never been bisexual. I'm going to touch up that purple again soon. Oh no. Hey, you learn how you learn, my friend. If that worked for you better than school, then surely that's a problem with the school system, not with you. We all learn in our own ways. And just because one person couldn't teach you, doesn't mean nobody can teach you. Formal education doesn't work for everybody, unfortunately. And that's the problem with school systems today. They assume that what's good for one person will work for everybody. But unfortunately, it's just not true. And it never works out that way. For example, there's a lot of people out there that have got the likes of dyslexia, dysnumeria, dyspraxia. And school systems don't really work for people with that kind of learning difficulty. So when people do present these problems, they tend to fall behind. And that's not because they're dumb or anything like that. It's because they just learn differently. I'm sure you do your job perfectly fine. Otherwise you wouldn't have it. This chair is uncomfortable. Oh, give me a second to stretch, guys. Ah, God, I need to get some real back support here. Ah. 